Hey, Jesse, you know what I love? What's that? I love gambling. And more than that, I love bonus bets. It's funny you mentioned that, Adam, because right now we've teamed up with DraftKings, where if you go download the DraftKings Sportsbook app, you bet $5 on any bet on the entire sportsbook, you get $150 of those bonus bets instantly. And all you got to do is use our promo code inside fight. We're joined by PFL light heavyweight. Sadabusi, no longer PFL welterweight, light heavyweight Sadabusi. How are you, sir? I'm doing great, man. I'm doing amazing. How are you doing? I'm doing really well. I'm, I'm happy for you. Congratulations. You got a big win over the weekend. Um, it wasn't the opponent you were expecting. You had a last minute replacement. I know it was uh, kind of a crazy situation. Uh, you ended up beating Andrew Sanchez. Yeah. First off, reflecting your performance and also just how that whole situation played out in general. It was only a few hours before you, you stepped out there, right? Yeah, it was a weird one, I'll tell you that. Uh, first and foremost, yeah. like, uh, I'm, 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 I'm my, my own biggest critic. So uh, watching watching the fight back and, and a lot of opportunities that I saw uh, that I would have done differently, uh, uh, I, I should say I would have done it i would have wanted to do it differently and, and stuff like that uh, but uh, that goes back to also me basically going in there blind i i watched probably five minutes of tape of andrew uh sanchez oh before the fight so i have no idea about who i'm fighting it was a little bit weird uh, everything happened on fight day for me uh, i woke up i had my shake off my morning practice at 11 working out from 11 to maybe half past 11 something like that 11 45 a couple of minutes before we're done i just got a i just get informed that nope opponent is switched so i'm switching for a tall southpaw to a shorter ortho wrestler uh, yeah so it, it was it was weird um but i'm i'm and i'm also a little bit like because one part of me is happy because I, 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 I uh, with all the circumstances, uh, which is which, which is the same for Andrew as well, uh, switch of opponent midday, a couple hours before the fight, adjusting to that, and then getting the victory. Uh, I'm happy for that, but at the same time, obviously, I need more points to go to the playoffs, uh, and uh, we had a lot of different things that we were planning to try to do uh, to get a a uh, fast finish uh, against Tom Breeze. Uh, so it was, it was just a weird, a weird experience. But hey, fighters fight. Um, things happen. You have to expect the unexpected. That's what I did, and I showed up. So what was yeah. it like fighting at a 205 for you? Like, uh, what's something that you've added to your diet? Was it is the weight? Obviously, the weight cut's got to be better. But like, what's what's the best part of it for you? Like, what what's like? Uh, just what has it been like? To be honest, uh, the bit. So for me, the biggest thing is I, I don't have to think about the diet, right? Yeah. It's, it's just like, like for me, I always I, I wanna I wanna fuel my body with with the best possible uh, nutrients and so so I don't try to eat unhealthy and stuff like that. But just being able to eat myself full, especially after hard practice days, I don't have to think about oh calories. I don't have to weigh myself. I can just eat and then uh, like eat, train, uh, sleep, right? So, so that that's the biggest thing. Not having to worry about the weight cut, constantly being in the back of my mind. Even when I'm off season, I'm thinking, oh, don't get too heavy now because you have to take the weight off. But like, all of that is now uh, it does it doesn't exist now, which is amazing, man. Uh, and and then for all of the fighters, uh, like taking away the weight cut. Is, is, is a big burden. So you, you, a lot of fighters would agree with me. Yeah, I mean, we literally have had a couple of uh, issues just recently in the UFC. I know that there was like Kelvin Gastelum, he had an issue with making weight in yeah. Saudi Arabia. And then yeah. you just had, I think, Brian Ortega. He had They had to renegotiate the fight this morning because he couldn't make oh, weight. Really? In it, was, it, was, it was short notice because that was supposed to be a featherweight fight. and But he was bulking up to go to lightweight when he got the call that they needed him to, to step in. 
So it was it was like a week and a half ago, two weeks ago, or whatever it was. Whenever Connor got hurt and they had to readjust the car, yeah, yeah. So he had trouble making the weight, and so they renegotiated it to one fifty five. So that's been a common theme. So I imagine that's like for you to not have to worry yeah. about that sort of thing of anymore is just like of course, amazing. of course. No, it's it's a uh, it's a uh, it's a game changer for me for sure. Uh, being yeah. able to to not having to diet while you're training in, uh, in camp like. Uh, it's a game changer. I wanted to uh, just get a few, uh, you know, few things out of the way here. Um, let's do this. You know, there's a lot of talk about, uh, you know, your extreme couture teammate Francis Ngannou. He still hasn't fought in the PFL. You know, some people feel like he might have made a mistake going into boxing and taking on the Anthony Joshua fight. Uh, maybe not from a financial standpoint, right? But that he did, and now he he might have to face uh, Renan Ferreira. What are your thoughts on that? Do you feel like he made a mistake, or do you feel like this was the right path for Francis? So for me, I w- I would say this: like after after the fact, when you have the results saying like, yeah, he shouldn't have done this, he shouldn't have done that. Like he did something unbelievable. Uh, and something that's never been done before. Uh, for me, just because he didn't win against Anthony Joshua doesn't take that away, to be honest. Because now, now at that point, we're just looking at the outcome, and after the outcome, we're gonna see if it was a good. Uh, I'm, I'm not. I'm. Uh, that's not how I look. I look at it like he, as a guy coming in to martial arts and fighting in general, just being here for a couple of years, becoming a UFC champion, fighting arguably arguably the best heavyweight out there. Uh, in 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 some in some guys' opinion, winning that fight, that giving him right. the op- the opportunity to now face Anthony Joshua. What is he supposed to do? No, I don't want the big paycheck. No, I don't want the the, the to, to like Test myself, no, like, so I don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm proud of him, um, and just like, I'm proud of a lot of guys that's put themselves in positions trying to be great. Sometimes you fall short, but that doesn't take away from the, from the actual, uh, like, from what you set out to do. So no, 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 I would never see it as a mistake, um, and uh, I would be the first to tell him that as well. Couldn't agree more. Um, how do you think that fight goes, by the way? With, with it, it looks like that might be his fight in the, the Super Fights division, would be against Renan Ferreira. We don't know yet, but when he does make his debut, it seems like that's going to be the one. What do you think about that fight? Uh, if that's the next fight, uh, obviously they're both all hard-hitting guys. Yeah. I believe that Francis has a little bit more experience and we've seen Francis being able to actually take the fight to the ground and win like that. So so for me, it's hard to bet against him until I've seen him lose or seen him compromise. So for that reason, uh, I would I would say that it's hard to bet against Francis. But with that being said, I'm a, I'm a big fan of her. Yeah. Um, just a few more questions and I'll let you go here. Uh, I wanted to ask one more question about an extreme couture teammate. Uh, I I know that people have probably asked you about this before, but you know, Sean Strickland once said that you were the best striker he's ever faced in sparring. Uh, he said that about you and you know, that's gotta be a, a compliment coming from him, a guy who loves to spar. He genuinely loves sparring. And, um, I'm just curious what your thoughts are on Sean Strickland sort of like rise to fame and, and sort of how he's become such a huge star over the last year. Yeah. So first and foremost, me and Sean, we, we, we love sparring each other. We have like a love hate when it comes to sparring because it's, it's always tough sparring him because it's such a, such a high level guy and he always adjusts and always tries new things and like always comes with new new uh new things and tricks up his sleeve so we have a we have a uh, we always have great stories and i believe that both of us make each other better uh and obviously it's very very nice to hear that he, he's, he's such a tough guy and uh nothing in his right has surprised me uh I actually, I, I believe that he, he won the fight against Rikers and, and should have stayed champion. Uh, but that, that it was a close fight, whatever. Uh, and then him being like Sean is the type of guy that he, he doesn't hold back. He's going to say what he thinks. And, and uh, a lot of people is going to uh, think 
a certain way about it. But what 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 what, what we know for sure is uh, people are gonna have an opinion, and and uh, he's great at getting people uh, like uh, interested in him, which is which is great because uh, what I want for him is he's still gonna fight, right? So if right. we can get more and more 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 butt to the seat and get more money for his fight, he's gonna fight the same guy. If you get uh, more money for facing the same guy, why not? So I'm happy for him, and I'm, uh, I'm like Sean. Uh, I'd be the first to, to tell you, like he, he's a workhorse. He loves being in the gym. He loves to spar. He works hard, and he's a great teammate. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know what? Were, there was a lot of controversy about how um, Israel Adesanya is getting the next title shot against Drikus Duplessis. People, a lot of MMA fans, and UFC fans, felt like Sean Strickland deserved the, yeah. the fight because they, they yeah. agree with you that he that he won the first fight. That's how they feel. Yeah. Do you feel yeah. like uh, Sean Strickland deserved to get that rematch before Izzy did? So, I I do I do agree with that because Izzy he lost against Alex and then he got an immediate rematch. He won that fight, and then he lost against Sean, and now he gets another immediate rematch. I would I would say because of how Sean and Dreykus fight looked, and even Dana White thought that Sean won, uh, I would agree. But now uh, he fought another fighter against, another fight against a top-level guy. He won, he beat him. So now I believe that he should be up next. This is the last question I have before I have yeah. one fun question for you. But I want to ask, why do you? F- so you're you're now you're making a push into two hundred five. You're going to try to yeah. win in the regular season. Why do you feel like you can succeed at two hundred and five pounds? Um, to be honest, it's just like I'm um, I'm 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 fighting and I'm training with guys that are uh, fighting at that weight division, and uh, I hold my own, and I believe that uh, my style. Uh, stylistically, because I'm I'm fast, but I, but at the same time I'm strong and technical. I believe that I'm going to create a lot of problems for guys that are stronger but a little bit slower. Uh, so I believe that my style is is good for that. Uh, if PFL had a 185 division, uh, it would be different, but we don't. So if it's 205 or 170, uh, it's 205 all day. Love it. Um, so this is a question I like to ask fighters: sure. if if I were in a street fight. And I, this is a fun one. If I were in a street yeah. fight and I had never fought anybody before, and I only had one choice between learning kickboxing or learning jujitsu, which style do you think would serve me best in a street fight? I would say kickboxing. Well, that coming from but, you, I mean, but I I'm biased. So. I'm biased. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. Well, right. so I would say kickboxing. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. This is my last question. Um, Go ahead. If you were to design the perfect fighter on paper, you get to choose one fighter for each attribute. Who would you choose for each of the following? Striking, grappling, strength, fight IQ, and cardio. That's five categories. So okay, for striking. Okay, so a grappler, I will go with Khabib. Okay. Uh, and the, what was the cardio? Well, the cardio. striking too. Striking cardio, cardio, I will go for Merab. Okay. Striking, I go for myself. There you go. Fight IQ two, I will go for Jones. John Jones. And what was the last one? Uh, strength. Strength. Ilir Latifi. Who? Ilir Latifi. Okay. There you go. That's that. That would make the perfect fighter right there. Those five. I love that. Hundred and oh, 99 KO two submissions. There Doesn't you go. even make that. sense, but <laughs> that's fine. That's fine. Sada Busi, thank you so much for joining me, man. Congratulations thank on you, your man. big win. I'm looking forward to your success at the PFL regular season, and I will be rooting for Appreciate you. Okay. It. Love it.